So good evening everyone. I'm going to talk today about a big idea that's probably inside every one of your head already and you probably don't know it. And that is, uh, you probably use the internet, um, I think nearly everyone has, and there's a, a nagging voice at the back of your head every time you use it which says, you know, maybe it won't work. Maybe this time when I'm booking that Ryanair flight and I get just to the last page, the internet is going to go down. Well, you mightn't realize, but that flaw is permanently built into the internet infrastructure. It, it actually uh, was designed into the network to allow it to grow globally. So how are we going to move from a network which we can't really trust to something that we can trust? And how is this going to change the way we think and the way we use this technology? So first of all, I'm just going to try and explain what the flaw is. Now, the best way I can think of explaining it is I think we're all familiar with bad traffic. Well, networks are very similar. If you can imagine sending your data by using a car through, through a traffic uh, jam in the middle of a city centre, it's full of traffic lights. And every time one of these packets or your car arrive at these traffic lights and they queue up, imagine if someone from the government came out and decided as a local councillor they could randomly throw away any cars that they wanted. So they go along, take your car, throw it into the ditch. That's how the internet works today. There's a random chance that your, your traffic won't get through. So the, the next thing people say is, well, what about broadband? Surely broadband is going to fix the problem. Well, actually, broadband has nothing to do with this problem. So saying that broadband is going to fix this problem is like saying, well, we're going to increase the width of your driveway into your house. So therefore, that's going to solve the problem in the middle of the city and the traffic. All it does is get your traffic into the problem a lot quicker. So what's going to happen? And that's the big idea. How do you quieten that voice in the back of your head that says it's not going to work? Well, the clue is actually around us today. We've seen uh, advertising, we've seen the start of things happening. For example, the interactive button on Sky. So if anyone has you know, Sky TV, or if you look at uh, UPC's interactive on-demand system, they're very poorly interactive. A very low quality interaction, but it's starting. Neither of those uh, networks are the internet. They're actually private networks. They were purposely built in order to deliver this interactivity. It's impossible to guarantee that behavior on the internet. And okay, the speeds might increase as the years go by. In the last 10 years, the speeds have gone up every year. But that problem has never gone away. So how are we going to solve it? Um, well, we have to think about networks in a different way. We have to redesign how the networks are used. Because if you borrowed all of the technology which supports the internet and you try to build a dedicated network like UPC or Sky for every single application, the energy consumption of the switches would mean that even if the switches were free, you couldn't possibly build a network. I mean, not many people realize, but 3% of the national grid in the UK is consumed by internet switches. That's an enormous number and it's growing every year. So I'm gonna try and finish up by just pointing to one of the most amazing corporations in terms of wealth, and that's Apple. They are the most valuable company in the world. Now, I'm not holding them up as an example. I'm just gonna say that Apple have a big issue with the brand that they have, which is quality, and the networks. But Apple can't go into every country in the world and build their own dedicated networks. Neither can Google, neither can Facebook. So how, how is this going to happen? How is it going to evolve? Well, Intune Networks, the company um, I work for, we demonstrated this year here in Ireland networks that could solve this problem. The first example is a, there's a, um, a musical um, event down in Dingle every year called Other Voices. And we built a dedicated network to share the Other Voices concert with local venues. And so what you're going to see in the next five years is the emergence of local networks and it'll only happen in one city at a time. You can't go in and change the infrastructure in every city in every country in the world. So why not here? Why not do it here first in Dublin or Galway or Cork? Uh, we have the technology and we have the innovation to sit on top so we can be the first in the world to develop this new type of network. It'll be local, secure and we'll finally shut up that voice in the back of our heads that said it just won't work. Thank you very much.